This rain encode effect looks really amazing and is just a thing if you're using OLED displays on a cyberpunk diorama. Now let's put our trench coats on and find out how to get it working on an ESP32 or other microcontroller. First of all this isn't my code. I found it completely by accident while I was looking for something else. It's really easy to get working. All you need is an ESP32 or other microcontroller and an OLED or TFT display. The one I'm using here is the Waveshare 1.5 inch square OLED. It has a 128 by 128 pixel display and you can find them for sale on Amazon. So to get the animation up and running, you need to open the Arduino IDE, go to Tools and then Manage Libraries. So you need to search for Digital Rain and it's this library here, Digital Rain Animation by Eric Nam. So if it's not installed, click on the Install button and install it. Next you can go to File and then Examples and if you scroll down you should find some examples. So the examples are under Digital Rain Animation. I suggest you start with this one, the Demo TFT ESPI Basic. If you have an Arduino or other device you could try either of these but for the ESP32 or ESP8266 you really need to be using the SPI library. So let's open this one. So this one is dependent on the TFT ESPI library. So we'll copy that name and go to Tools, Manage Libraries and search for this one. So the library we need to install is TFT underscore ESPI by Bodma. So if it's not installed then install it. So if you want to know the pin diagram and how to connect up a ESP32 to the display then check my other video. This one is especially useful in getting it working. So once it's working it's really easy to get this animation itself working. So all we need to do now is to go to sketch and then upload and there it is running. So there are some other examples you might find useful. If you want to change the colour scheme then you can look at this one. This is the ESP underscore colors demo. There's also one that uses Japanese fonts. This one looks really nice. And if you want larger fonts, then you could try using this one. Showcase is quite good as a demonstration. And settings are like this one. You can really fine tune these settings. So with this one, you can change around with the lines and the speed and screen update interval. So give that one a go if you really want to fine tune the settings. So I hope you found this video interesting and can build something really cool and cyberpunky with it. Thanks for watching.